uh, this particular model or idea or set of lessons I got from a book called The Essential Blender um, Guide to 3D Creation with uh, the Open Source Blender and all the moves and all the tools that I'm going to talk about here are outlined in uh, Chapter 4. Okay, so the first thing uh, that we're going to do here is we're going to delete our default cube. I'm going to click Delete. I'm going to erase the object. I'm going to add a mesh, okay? And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's go ahead and add a plane. Okay, so I'm going to grab that plane and, um, oops, I accidentally deleted that plane. Let's try that again. Add mesh plane. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grab the plane, but uh, this time I need it to snap exactly to the origin. So by holding down the control key, I can move things in increments of exactly one. And you can see that, that the um, plane is snapping into uh, the blocks, the guides that are there. And so by holding down the control key, I can move it exactly to the center position. All right, and I'm going to hold it down, and that is where we need it right there. And uh, you can see that if I zoom in as close as I get, the corner of the plane is exactly on the origin there, and that's what we want. Okay, so our next move is we're going to, uh, as we build this bridge, we're right now we're constructing a face of a pillar. And we're going to do it through mirrors and reflection. We're going to be making moves to one part, and it's going to be reflected uh, in several different areas. And uh, it, it's pretty neat. So I'm going to click Add Modifier, and I'm going to choose Mirror. And now that's going to mirror the plane that I have on the right, on the left. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to come over to the bottom right. Once again, I'm in edit mode. I've chosen the editing tab, and there's the add modifier button. I'm going to choose mirror one more time, except this time, go ahead and I'll zoom in here. Um, we have the option to mirror across X, Y, or Z. Okay, And uh, for the second mirror, I'm going to choose mirror Y, and that's going to give us a nice big block we can work with. Um, okay, so after I've created two mirrors, I've mirrored across the x-axis and I've mirrored across the y-axis. Oh, we also want to click Do Clipping. That's going to prevent any changes we make in this original area from crossing over this axis, which is definitely uh, something we're going to want later. I'm going to click Z, and I'm going to throw it into wireframe mode. Okay, so uh, we've created our default plane. We've snapped it into the origin. Uh, we've gone into our editing tab. We've gone to add modifier. We've chosen mirror twice, and we've gotten it to mirror over to the left and down. Um, the next move we're going to make is we're going to click the W shortcut on the keyboard. So when I click W, um, that's going to bring up our specials menu. And there are a lot of different things we can do here. In this case, I'm going to choose subdivide multi. And by doing that, it asks me, OK, how many times do you want to cut this face evenly? And in this case, I want two even cuts. All right, and that leaves us with something that looks like this. And you can see that as I subdivided this cube, the mirror image on the left and on the bottom uh, two panels mirrored exactly uh, what happened there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my uh, selection panel, and right now I'm in vertices select mode. I'm going to choose edge select mode, and I'm going to select the top so this uh, this this edge right here. Okay, uh, what I want to do is I want to take that edge and I want to select this. I want to select all the edges that, uh, that match that center edge. So I'm going to hit Control E and I'm going to choose Edge Loop Select. And that selects the entire edge along uh, that axis. And then I'm going to hit Control E again and I'm going to use a tool called Edge Slide. This one's nice. And now I can take the edge and I can slide it up. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come down. I'm going to grab the edge just below it. I'm going to click Control E. I'm going to choose Edge Loop Select, and that selects the entire edge. All right. I'm going to click Control E again. I'm going to choose Edge Slide. All right. I'm going to move it up, and you can see that the mirror image is working with me here. All right. So I've taken the two edges and I've slid them slid them up. Now I'm going to take the edge that is vertical. I'm going to choose Control E. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to choose Edge Loop Select so I get the whole thing. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to choose Edge Slide. 
and I'm going to take it to about, oops, I can't use that one. I've got to grab the one closest to the, to the edge. Control E, edge loop select. Control E, edge slide. I'm going to slide that one over. We're going to do the same thing one more time. Control E, edge loop select. Control E, edge slide. All right, so what we've got is we've subdivided this shape um, into two even cu cuts. All right, and we've used our edge loop select and our edge slide tool to create a configuration where we basically you can count one, two, three edges down, one, two, three edges from the right, and we should have a uh, we should have an image that looks about like that. All right, and I'm going to go into object mode. You can see very clearly what my edges are. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my face select tool. I'm going to bring the mouse down to here, and I'm going to choose face select okay and now I've selected the center part of this model and I'm gonna hit control T and I'm gonna divide that face into triangles alright and you can see that once again our mirror is uh, is working and it's divided the entire figure into uh, a pattern that doesn't exactly look like what we have in the top right corner but it's it's mirrored four ways okay uh, once I've selected that and I've hit Control T and I've split this bottom square into triangles, I'm going to use the, uh, the the knife tool. I'm going to choose K and I'm going to select Knife Exact. All right, so I'm going to cut uh, two edges into this face. I'm going to cut an edge here, right in the center. I'm going to left click and then I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to drag out and the knife kind of lets me do it. Um, and then I'm going to left click right there. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to left click, and then I've got to hit enter to make those changes stick. Now I'm going to go back into face select mode. I'm going to shift right click these two faces. I'm going to click K, knife exact, and I'm going to create one more set of cuts by left clicking, left clicking, left clicking, and then hitting enter to accept that. Now you can see right here that that is not necessarily even. Alright, so we're going to even it out by going into vertex select mode. I'm going to select this vertex here. I'm going to select these, the two vertexes that are at the, my rightmost cut. I'm going to hit the S button to scale. Alright, and by doing that, I can drag it in and out. And because I have do clipping enabled, the bottom vertex will not cross that axis line. And I'm going to get it nice and straight to where I want it. Alright, boom. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the inner cut. I'm going to hit shift. I'm going to select these two vertices by using my vertice select tool. I'm going to move the mouse off to the right hand side of the figure. I'm going to click S and I'm just going to scale it till I get it relatively straight along the top edge. And it looks like I need to do the same along up here. So I'm going to come to the top. I'm going to click S. I'm going to straighten it out. Okay, so now I've made a knife cut, I've selected vertices, I've used the scale tool, and I've straightened out my line so I've got some nice even cuts. If I go into object mode, I'll zoom in, you can see what we're working with now in this top right quadrant. All right. Okay, so we're going to make one more move. Um, we're going to go into face select mode, All right, and I'm going to select five faces. I'm going to select my bottom cut here. All right. And I'm going to select the center series of cuts like this. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and rotate out just for effect here. And then I'm going to use the E key to extrude. And I'm going to extrude the region outward about, we'll say, that far. And if I do that, I get a model that looks like this. Now we're starting to make one face of our pillar. All right. Uh, for lesson one, all right. That's it. I'll um, I'll pick this up in lesson.